hello everyone and welcome to this blender tutorial today we'll be looking at creating decent looking for us inside blender the three main steps we'll be looking at is understanding how to basically create the four um, secondly i'll be showing you guys some quick easy tr um, tricks that will speed up your process and finally we'll be looking at creating the materials and making the um, four map correctly to the underlying texture of your model okay let's start up We'll be using this mesh, um, which I used for a recent project. Um, so we'll just be focusing on creating for, um, for, for this section, just the body area. And I'll be t uh, showing you guys how to do that. Um, so let me just delete my annotation. Where is that? Okay. Um, so how I go about creating my four is, um, I use the particle system and in this particle system let me just make it larger for you guys to see better so by default it's in emitter i'm just going to switch it to hair and for virtual pro um, purposes i'll just add another material and call this hair and just give it a different color so that it everything will look um, more visible where is that guy um yeah particles so under render i can just switch the material to here so there's the material that this guy will be using cool um so now the length of this hair is quite um too much for what we're going for so i want to reduce it to something like 0.15 um which is kind of small so let's say 0.2 um a quick tip tip is to like always press ctrl a to apply the rotation and scale so you make you make sure that um you're working with the accurate you're giving blender an accurate information about your model okay so once you've done that um yeah so we're good to go so i usually just set this number to zero that's because i prefer to add the hair particles manually inside the particle uh, particle edit system so if I select the add brush, I can just easily paint in the hair. Okay. Um, so it would be very tedious for us to go in and like do this manually painting the both sides. So what I do is I use symmetry. So I just turn on the X mirror and paint. Um, so you may run into this. Uh, but in case you can your symmetry is not working what you can do is go into edit mode and under option you want to click on topology mirror so once you do that you can now paint and you have this so this mainly works if you you're working with a um symmetry you're working with a model with good symmetry um so that's when this can work so now we have like the symmetry working um, we can proceed I usually set the number to three because I, you don't go crazy so it, because it reduces the performance of your viewport. Um, next, um, yeah, so that's all. Um, but I usually just set the step to five. Okay, so now we can start painting. So I just paint a little area and then use the comb brush and just set it how I want. Okay. Um, next, I go back to the add brush. So this um, this is what this is a good technique that will speed up your gro grooming. Um, you want to click on interpolate. So what this does is, if I paint it now, it's going to try to follow the hair that I created earlier, so that I don't have to really worry about um, combing it once more. So if after that I can just go in and clean this up. Okay. So I'm not starting from scratch. Just clean that up nicely. Um, so I think I need to add more. So I want it to behave differently around this area. So I'll just do that. And if I use the add brush with interpo interpolate selected, I can just do it this way. So when it goes there, it acts like how it's meant to, be, to act. And with that, you can just paint in your hair. Okay. Um, so now we've gotten the base hair. 
um, I think I need to fix certain areas. So I've just done up the X mirror and just switch it to comb and pull it down. Cool. So now it's looking all cool and everything. Um, so now it's time to add more hair with the children particle system. Um, usually you can use this simple and it just works, but it doesn't look nice. The result is very trickish, um, hackish, sorry, but interpolate is the way to go with using this kind of system. Um, so for this system to work perfectly, you have to have a vertex group. Um, so I'll just set this to none and just go into my weight paint and create a new weight paint and call this H1, like for hair one, and I can just paint it. So I would like to turn my symmetry on again and I will just paint along the areas where I already um, created particles. Okay, just paint that in nicely. Cool. And I can just usually go in sometimes and just, sorry, uh, you just want to go in and just blow out the edges so you get like a cool transition in case you're trying to do more than okay so, um so uh, we can add interpolate and go into the vertex group and restrict it to just that area and we have it looking cool like this um now we can with clumping you can play with some cool effect so usually for um, four, you don't want to do too much. Um, you can also go ahead and add like this kink and play with some of the settings, depending on the kind of stuff you're going for. Um, yeah, so you might want to add more resolution with the steps. Okay, so this is basically how I create the four. Um, so for rendering, um, for the rendering st stage, what I do is, um, with even now you can actually preview your hair with the real uh, how it would look in the final. So you want to switch it from strand to strip. Okay, once you do that, you can actually start seeing the reshape of the hair, like in render time. Um, so I want to go down in this hair shape. If I set this to zero, you can see we have no hair. If I set this to point one. We can start saying how it would look like um, when we hit the render button. So I want to set it to something like 0.6. Because I don't want to use like so, um, much hair for that. Um, so that's good. I can set it to 35. And 35 for now. Because this is a tutorial. <laughs> I don't want to go crazy. Um, so just for it to look more thick, I'll just increase the hair shape to point eight okay so it's looking quite nice cool um in case you want to like make the hair look have more volume in case if you feel like it's not slacking that you can go to roughness endpoint and just make it a bit crazy buff it out a bit so that could help but i'm happy with the way it looks um, yeah, so when you're happy with that, you want to just switch it back to what um, the strand because it can be intensive to the scene sometimes. Cool. Um, so let's prepare for render. Okay, so everything is set for render. I, I even gave it a test render. Um, yeah, so this is how it looks. So we have the four looking okay. Um, I think we need more. Um, but basically everything is looking okay. Um, so let's create the shader or the material. I will just use the principal hair shader. Okay, this one. Just sorry, just delete this guy. And for the roughness, I usually just set it to 0.6 for something I don't want to be really glossy. And that should do the trick. Um, I already have underlining textures, as you can see, for the tiger. Um, so let's just get that texture. Um, it's here. So this is the whole setup. We'll just copy this guy and group it. 
So back here, you can paste it. So this texture has information of all the colors I need to texture the tiger. So I can just plug it in here for the color and that's that. You already, it, it transfers that information onto the four as long as you have a UV. And yeah, so we need to increase the number of the particles. So I'll increase this to 60. Yeah, um, probably I want to reduce the hair shape since I increased the number to like 0.5 and that should be good. So let me just go quickly over some render settings. Um, yeah, so in the render settings, an important thing to pay attention is this part. So you can ignore the strand render and adaptive render. Um, but what you should pay attention is this B spline. So B spline is basically like adding subdivision in your model um, to your head. That's the only way I can explain it uh, without really adding much stuff. So um, also you have the step. The step is also like subdivisions. The more the steps, the more smoother it look. Um, so basically I, I advise if like it's a very distant character you should reduce the step but if it's very close up you can increase the step usually I go with three steps because um, there's no much deformation deformation to the hair particles so there's no need for it to be really high resolution like that um, so that's basically all you should pay attention to and yeah the render amount you should not go crazy with that um, just click on this long hair and you should be good to go so with that we can just hit render so yeah we have it we have the fur and the textures are following following along um, we might need to add more fur but for the most part it's looking okay um uh, yeah so that's it guys thank you for watching this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you have not done that already. So bye bye for now. See you next time.